As exams of BA and BA, BA and BSc of Punjab University are still pending, so I I decided to uh, make some MCQs for um, macroeconomic subject, um, as there is a chance for online exams uh, for the BA and BSc students. So uh, students, we we start this um, the first chapter of the macroeconomics, um, that is <coughs> introduction of macroeconomics, and uh, we. Uh, फिलहाल हम लोग सिर्फ एम सी क्यूज़ को डिस्कस करेंगे ताकि अगर गवर्नमेंट ने यह अनाउंस कर दिया कि एम सी क्यूज़ बेस ऑनलाइन एग्ज़ाम्स होंगे तो उस केस में आपके लिए शायद एम सी क्यूज़ हेल्पफुल हो सके सो स्टार्ट दिस फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन द स्टडी ऑफ इकोनॉमी एज अ होल ग्रुप्स एंड एग्रीगेट्स इज नोन एज ऑप्शन आर इंटरनेशनल इकनॉमिक्स माइक्रो इकनॉमिक्स माइक्रो एंड डी ऑप्शन इज नन ऑफ द एवर्म and the right answer is macroeconomics and because in macroeconomics we study uh, the economy as on on large scales uh, not as not as small units uh, but uh, we study macro macroeconomics as a whole uh, groups and aggregates um, like industries uh, okay now the second question is the term macro is derived from um, where that this term is derived um, different options are there um, four options greek a uh, word macro english greek word macro which means small and french word macro the right answer is greek word macro which means large um as we have uh, studied in the pre previous question that uh, macroeconomics the study of aggregates and groups uh, so it means obviously it means large the third question is macroeconomics the study about um uh, uh, study about theory of national income and employment b option is theory of money supply and price level and then you have the theory of international trade and economic growth and d option is all of these so uh, so, so the right answer is all of the above because in macroeconomics uh, in, uh, uh, we study economy on large scale so uh, national income employment money supply and price level uh, and in internet um, even we study international trade exports and imports in this subject so the right option is that uh, d1 that is um, that is we study all these uh, things in the macroeconomics now the fourth question is <coughs> 1929 um, when uh the economy uh, when the whole world uh, was facing great depression then macroeconomics became a wide subject subject in which uh, uh, the mm, the economist uh, present various techniques to deal with this great depression and the period was 1929 to 33 now the fifth question is the term micro microeconomics and macroeconomics were first presented by the economist uh, four four options are there uh, adam smith uh, professor j m keynes uh, Dagnum Fraser and Alfred Marshall. The right option is the C one. Uh, uh, that he he was an economist uh, who presented a uh, micro and macroeconomics for the first time. The rest of the economists uh, there, for example, the Michael, the other, the Adam Smith. Adam Smith was basically the father of economics or father of capitalism. uh he is famous for this name um he he, he did not present uh, the word of micro and macro for the first time second option is professor jm keynes uh, jm keynes is basically uh, famous uh, became famous after the great depression uh, of uh, 1929 to 33 um, basically he is um, he pres uh, he was a uh he he was against the classical econ economics of the free market and uh, he present that uh, it is aggregate demand which determines the fluctuations in economic activity and uh, the d op d option is alfred marshall and uh, he present the idea of supply and demand and marginal utility and um, cost of production in his book principle of economics so the right answer is the c1 <coughs> now the third question goals of macroeconomics are um, high level of gdp b option is high level of employment and c stability of prices and uh, d option is all of the above <coughs> the right option is all of the above as we study um, uh, international trade and money supply employment and national income so um, obviously uh, all the options will uh, will, uh, will lie under the subject of macroeconomics seventh <coughs> now the seventh 
uh, question is microeconomics and macroeconomics are uh, a option dependent on each other independent of each other b option and c option is none of these um the both these subjects are dependent on each other uh, many uh, many ideas of microeconomics we implement uh, in macro on a large scale so both subjects we cannot uh, separate these subjects uh, both subjects are dependent on each other <coughs> no it, it is only the e a option not the b option right correct right answer is the a1 okay now the eighth question is who is known as father of modern economics uh, father of modern economics is known as uh, it is the e option it is professor j professor j m keynes uh, it is known as professor father of modern economics now the, uh, the other options are john hicks and milton friedman and adam smith i have added uh, the brief descriptions of these economists so that you know what are the, their contributions in uh, macroeconomics uh, well john hicks um, john hicks was uh, basically after came keynes then this 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 was a monetarist um, who, uh, um, who who gave the idea of monetarism and he was against john against j m keynes <coughs> I think it is uh, something with B option monetarist was Milton Friedman, not it was John Hicks. John Hicks was the uh, third one uh, who is uh, mm, who is who is famous. I S and L M model was presented by John Hicks and Milton Friedman was uh, was a monetarist. B and C options are those some, some missing uh, mix हो गई हैं. तो इसमें जो Milton Friedman है वो इसमें मोनिट्रिस्ट है विच जिसकी एक्सप्लेनेशन बी में दी गई है और जॉन हिक्स ने बेसिकली आई एस एन एल एम मॉडल को डिस्क्राइब किया था और डी आदम स्मिथ एंड ही इज़ वेरी बिफोर कीन्स इसकी जो कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन इकनॉमिक्स में हुआ है इट इज़ ही इज़ नोन एज फादर ऑफ इकनॉमिक्स एंड फादर ऑफ कैपिटलिज्म Now the ninth question: What are the tools of macroeconomics, uh, monetary policy, fiscal policy, income policy, and all of the above? Uh, four options are there, and uh, the right answer is all of the above. In, in, in uh, macroeconomics, we use the tools of monetary, fiscal, and income policies to study the money supply, uh, government policies, and uh, uh, equilibrium level of national income. It is. Tenth question is: Propositions of classical economist, economist were. Um, four options are there: full employment, perfect competition, and less fair economy. And D is all of the above. So the right answer is all of the above. We study all the uh, classical um, classical economist has presented all the three propositions um, to present their <coughs> idea about the economy. Eleventh question: Publication time of the book Journal of Theory of Employment, Interest, and Money was. Now it is the right answer, 1936. And twelfth is the book General Theory of Employment, Interest, and Money was written by uh, which economist? Four options are there, and it was written by Professor J M Keynes. <coughs> Thirteenth question is macroeconomics deals with which four major factors? Um, as we we study uh, uh, national income, uh, uh, exports and imports, and uh, how, uh, industries. So in the right options is B. There is households, firms, government, and external sector are included. All the rest options are not the right answer. Fourteen question is which statement is uh, uh, statement is or are true? Um, in capitalist economy, there is private ownership of the means of production. In a communist nation, the means of production are owned by the state, that is government. And C option is a free market economy. There is minimum role of government. And uh, the D option is all are true. So the right answer all are true. Uh, the side statement is not saying. Fifteen is which economist is not the classical economist? Um, five options are there: Smith, Ricardo, C. Marsh, and J. M. Keynes. J. M. Keynes is not the classical economist um, because he was uh, the Keynes uh, after classical uh, economist. उसका टाइम पीरियड उसके बाद स्टार्ट हुआ था नाउ द सिक्सटीन थी सप्लाई क्रिएट्स इज ऑन डिमांड इज प्रेजेंटेड बाय क्लासिकल इकोनॉमिस्ट मॉनेटरिस्ट मॉडर्न और नन ऑफ द अबव द राइट आंसर क्लासिकल इकोनॉमिस्ट हु गेव द आइडिया ऑफ सप्लाई क्रिएट्स इट्स ओन ऑन सेवनटीन थी अकॉर्डिंग टू द क्लासिकल इकोनॉमिस्ट देर इज ऑलवेज फुल इम्प्लॉयमेंट इकोनॉमी एंड ड्यू टू 
flexibility of prices, flexibility of rate of interest, and flexibility of wages, and D option constancy of velocity of circulation of money, and in the uh, right answer all of the above. And class according to classicals, uh, if if sorry for 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 four 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 so, many prepositions fall karke. Jab unemployment kafi face ki ki inflation a gaya market mein. To unki jo prepositions the, wo buri tarah na kam hoga. Nineteenth ke age according to Keynes, equilibrium level of national income where aggregate demand is equal to aggregate supply. And this situation of equilibrium level of national can be at full employment, below full employment, and above full employment. And the options are all all of the above. So the right option is D. And because uh, according to Keynes, uh, this level of equilibrium can be uh, at a full or below or above the full employment level. Twentieth is at the full employment level, inflationary gap will result if uh, four the three options are there. Inflationary gap will result uh, when aggregate demand is greater than aggregate supply. Twenty first, twenty first at the full employment, deflationary gap will result if aggregate demand is less than aggregate supply. Twenty second is less fair economy is um, which uh, when there is no interference by the government and this idea was given by the classicals who were um, against the role of government in the economy and the rest options are uh, not the answers. Twenty mm, third question less is very uh, is a French word uh, meaning uh, meaning allow to do uh, allow to do second is a don't allow to do and third is none of these the right options allow to do because. Um, it means that uh, government uh, government have no role uh, over the economy. Uh, um, firms will um, function their <coughs> their uh, firms will uh, do their work independently, and uh, government has no role uh, in their functions. Twenty fourth is uh, which factor Keynes did not consider in the determination of national income. Keynes ne basically role of interest rate ko consider nahi kiya kyunki baad mein Hicks ne present kiya Keynes ke baad jab usne IS and LM model ko present kiya the rest of the are not the right answer 25th is supposed Keynes and macroeconomics include uh, jab Keynes ke baad jo macroeconomic jo, jo economist hai jinhone post Keynes and macroeconomics ki buniyad rakhi unme kaun kaun se include hain monetarism supply side economics rational expectations theory and the right answer is all of the above Keynes ke baad ye sare economist Keynes uh, uh, time period ke baad mein. 26 is uh, which, wa which are the followers of J.M. Keynes J.M. Keynes ke followers ko hai just name James Keynes ke idea ko follow kiya to fourth options are four options are there basically A, B and C are the known followers of J.M. Keynes they are the post uh, Keynes and macroeconomics um, economist and they are against the J.M. Keynes. The, the fiscal, fiscalists are basically um, follow the idea of J.M. Keynes and they are the followers. Uh, post Keynes in macroeconomics. Um, basically, they represent the long run economy model. And mm, Keynes ne basically equilibrium uh, level of national income determined kya, but in the short run. Jo baad mein Keynes ke aay, economies ne long run equilibrium models present kiya. 28th is the main determinant of macroeconomics is the price. Uh, the right option is the price. Basically, price is uh, micro. We basically economic as units and small uh, units. We study it. So, the price is basically determined. What is the equilibrium level of what will happen? Will the consumer be satisfied? And the <coughs> next question is yeah, the, right, uh, the right answer is the income. B. Uh, B is the right answer. Now, third, third is the microeconomics is. Uh, is basically partial equilibrium analysis or general uh, or none of the cause my in micro we study economy in units then the right answer will be a that is partial equilibrium analysis <coughs> now only the a answer is uh, the right one b is not the right answer it is highlighted in red color um, but there is a mis mistake ho gayi lekin right answer is only the a now 31st is a microeconomics and micro sorry macro macro basically is, is a study of uh, aggregates and large groups so it is a general equilibrium analysis uh, not the partial one and b and c options are not the right not the right only a option is the right so can then believe in free market economy or uh, a option B acted role by the government none of basically Keynes ne hai uh, classicals ke baad mein aaya tha aur isne classicals ko oppose kiya tha ke uh, free economy nahi honi chahiye basically